Hi guys, in this video we're going to run through the basic setup of OBS to make sure your stream can reach its best in terms of quality. I'll be going through the settings of standard OBS, however everything I show should translate over to Streamlabs OBS as well. If there's something that doesn't quite translate over, you can always reach me in the Ultimo Warrior Discord server for some extra help. It's worth noting that these are the settings I use on my own streams, uh, and I'm always getting questions about my own settings uh, because of the quality I put out, even though I'm not partnered on Twitch. Cool, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to switch over to desktop using my stream deck. Perfect. Uh, so the first place you want to do is do a quick Google for OBS. Uh, it's normally the first result, so you click on that. Click on Windows to download it on to Windows if you're using Windows. Once it's downloaded, you give it a little click. Click through next and install. Um, I'm going to stick it on my main hard drive. And then once that's done, you can launch it straight from the from the setup. Uh, the first thing that will happen is it will pop up and ask you if you want to run the auto configuration wizard. You can do this, um, but normally you're going to change some of the stuff it picks up anyway. So I'm going to hit no for now. And if you change your mind, you can run the auto configuration wizard anytime from the tools menu as well. Cool, so full screen this. Uh, so this shows you, uh, this is your blank slate essentially, ready to fill with your scenes and sources for your stream. Um, if you're already using OBS, you will have, you already have stuff in here. Um, so we're going to skip over these bits and we may go over these in another video in more detail. Uh, so for now, we're going to go up to file and settings. I'm going to head straight into the output section um, as this is where this is where you'll mostly see all the stuff for like that's based on quality. Uh, the first time you open it, you might see it's in simple mode. So switch over to advanced. And um, we're going to start with the encoder. So we're going to switch that to NVIDIA NVENC. So long as you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, so basically this uses your graphics card to do all the heavy lifting. Uh, instead of your, instead of your CPU, basically, so it takes the load off your CPU, so your games will perform better. Um, if you have a 20 series graphics card from Nvidia or a 1660, like the 16 series, um, those cards actually have a a bit inside that's dedicated to this kind of encoding, so it's perfect. So after you've done the encoder, make sure you go to rate control or set that as CBR, um, which is a constant bit rate to make sure your quality always stays the same. If you have that as like a varied or whatever, it can, it can, it can misinterpret and make your stream super pixelated because it's trying to get better performance basically, but you want to, you want to have the quality. So next up is the bit rate. Um, this can be a bit tricky to get right depending on how fast your internet connection is at home or wherever you're streaming from. You probably already know how fast your speed is on your internet connection, but you can always do a quick speed test. Uh, I think Google has one built in now, so you just uh, do a Google search for speed test, hit run, and that will show you what it is. So for me personally, uh, my upload speed sort of sits between 30 to 40 uh, for my upload. Um, so I can comfortably stream at 6,000 uh, bit rate. Um, which is kind of the max on Twitch if you're, I believe it's the max if you're not partnered. So if you don't have a super high upload speed, um, I'll go over some different speeds now. So if your upload speed is over 5 megabits per second, you should comfortably be able to stream with a bit rate above 3,500. If you have between 6 to 8 megabits per second, you should be able to bump that up to 5,000 for your bit rate. Anything above uh, 8 megabits per second should allow 6,000 bit rate for streaming. However, keep in mind that depending on how many people are in your house or wherever you are streaming, um, if there's more people on your connection using your bandwidth, then you may not hit as much as you want. But if you've got a super high upload speed, it's normally okay. Next up, we have the keyframe interval. Uh, I use two. Um, as it's a good balance between quality and performance. For your preset, if you've got a pretty beefy PC, you can go up to max quality. Um, if not, you can choose quality. quality. Normal quality is normally the safest to go for, and that's what I use, and it's enough. Uh, choose your profile as high. And then with psychovisual tuning, again, if you've got a decent PC, uh, you can turn this on. Um, this is one of those ones that you may need to do some test streams to see what happens. 
um, and then you could try and turn this off if you need to. Um, I've always had it on. It seems to be fine. Uh, I think it uses more GPU usage basically. So if you don't have a great GPU, uh, you could always turn this off. Uh, GPU itself can be left at zero, which is the default and max B frames can stay the same as well. Next, we're going to head over to the video settings and then the base canvas, we're going to set it 1600 by 900. And we're going to do the same for the output uh, output resolution as well. So basically this means you can, you're streaming at really high quality. Um, you're not quite hitting 1080p um, because most of the time that's just not necessary for streams. And some of the time it will actually harm your viewership because some, some people can't buffer the, the video at 1080. Um, so 900 is that nice kind of balance between 720 and 1080, um, where you're getting more quality than 720, but you're not affecting your performance at doing 1080. So it's a nice, it's a nice middle ground. For the downscale filter, um, I use bilinear, um, which can be, as it says, it can be blurry of scaling, but we're not scaling, so it should be okay. Again, if you have a if you have a pretty beefy PC, then you can try the Langsos, which is sharpening. I have been debating whether to test that out recently. Go ahead and do that. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the Discord how that goes. Um, but I've been using Bilinear for forever, but I'm considering trying something new. Now for FPS, if you're able to stream above 5,000 bit rate, you can put this to 60 frames. You might get away with 60 frames per second on a 4,000 bit rate, but it may depend on which variables you put into some of the other settings that we've been over already. I found that 60 is normally pretty safe unless you have a really, really bad upload speed. Uh, so yeah, give it a give it a try. Perfect, so once we've done that, we can hit apply, hit okay, and then you're good to go. Uh, so that finishes up the main settings for getting a smooth, good quality stream without needing to push your hardware too far. Um, the best thing to do now is again, do some test streams, try and get some friends to jump in and watch, um, watch along. So you get instant feedback and make sure you also have your VODs turned on, on stream. So it archives your previous streams, and then you can always watch those back. Um, cause then you'll probably, you'll probably pick up on things that other people might not and things you want to change, um, to get the quality that you want. Cause I think some people are probably like, they're probably fine they're probably just like yeah it's cool but it's probably pixelated as hell <laughs> so um it's better to, it's better for you to look at your own stream and also you can if you can watch it back live at the same time as your stream is happening uh try and do that as well um but again if you if you don't have a great connection you may not be able to do that because it may it might just buffer um cool so yeah that's that goes over some of the uh the settings that i use for my streams um, so thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Captain Astro. You can find me on Twitch as well. Um, and this has been an Ultimo Warrior video and I'll see you in the next one.